Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. And guys, I have some tea for you coming from New Jersey because Miss Melissa Gorga is talking about this whole situation with Teresa and Mr. Luis Rolas and how it's affecting her and her relationship with the other girls, all right? So before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Verify Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. Let's talk about this mess. So Ms. Melissa Gorga is talking to page six and basically kind of like explaining this whole situation with Luis. Okay, we already saw the premiere. The premiere was great. A lot of questions that we're going to have to wait for the answers, okay? But now everything is going around this video of Luis, you know, and everyone is, like, talking about it and making their own conclusions. The video is creepy AF, you know. I mean, we have watched it over and over. Um, so Melissa is kind of, like, talking about her point of view and, like, her side on all this mess, okay, and how it's affecting her, not only with Teresa, but with the other girls, because now Melissa is being associated with the mean girls of New Jersey, which is, which will be uh, Margaret Joseph, Jackie Goldschneider, and Melissa Gorga, okay? So, speaking to page six, Melissa said, it was the whole Teresa trying to protect the situation and not discuss it that actually made it worse. So she's saying that by Teresa, like, you know, like, they didn't want to talk about the video. They want to make it seem like the, the, it didn't, it never exists. And I'm just thinking, like, girl, after all this year, this is like season, what, like 12? After 12 years of doing this, do you really think that we are not going to be talking about this? Like, how that even crossed her mind? Um... However, Melissa says that Luis actually addressed the issue with the cast. And Melissa says, I was so happy when he addressed it. I'm like, thank you, because I don't want to talk about him. I really don't. I don't want to discuss his issues or whatever happened in his past. And I was sick of my castmates talking about it. Ultimately, Mary, Melissa is happy with Teresa and Luis as a couple, and the, he, she is calling Luis a great match for Teresa. If my sister-in-law is happy, then I'm happy. I'm like, leave her in her, love in, her, in her love bubble, please. Let her be happy. Um, Melissa also added that she can't judge Luis too harsh because of Teresa, and Teresa has her own past as well. And she says, no one has a bigger past than Teresa. Let's be real. But the past is the past. We need to judge people of what we see now. And I'm big on that. He is going to be my brother-in-law. I want him to come in with open arms. I want him to prove to us who he is. Melissa also shared that her castmate Margaret Joseph was relentless in her pursuit of proving her opinion about uh, Louis. And she says, Margaret was relentless. She really was. She had an opinion on something and she was not letting go. Which is kind of weird because, like, girl, like, Margaret is not Teresa's BFF. Like, why is she so invested in this if it's not just to go around and try to take Teresa down? Um... Apparently, Melissa says that uh, this season is going to be an epic showdown between Margaret and Teresa and that they will definitely be seeing a table flip 2.0, which I don't think is going to happen. If that's going to be the whole Teresa like throwing like a glass and like like glass and everything across the table, that's not a table flip. But anyways. Um, Melissa is also saying that this whole situation has definitely put a strain on her relationship with uh, all of the other girls, okay? It says, she says, it sucks for me, to be honest, because it's my family and they are my girlfriends who actually treat me really well. They are very good friends to me. They really are, but this is my sister-in-law. So when they all go at it, I just want to walk out of the room. 
I try to bring them back together as much as I can, but screw it. You guys are old enough. You know what you are doing. Figure it out. Okay. So, well, look, I understand that Melissa is in a very, like, weird situation, okay? But at the end of the day, especially, I, I mean, in this case, she is never going to be able to escape that situation because she is married to Joe and Joe is... Teresa's sister and Joe is always going to stand by her sister. So it's kind of surprising that she is even trying to pursue these friendships. And I feel that the, the, the root of all of it is because Melissa knows that she will never going to be able to take Teresa's spot, you know, and, and she wanted to. I feel like, like Margaret, Jackie and Melissa kind of want to take Teresa down so they can, could ascend, you know, like the main ones. And they know that they're never going to be able to do it, no matter what they do, no matter what they, they good they behave, no matter what, how loved they are, they will never be on the same stand as Teresa because Teresa, I, I, for some reason, I mean, she has gained the love from a lot, from a lot of people, you know? So, like, they're not going to take uh Teresa down anytime soon. So I feel like Melissa should like really take a step down. I feel like at the end of the day, Melissa, instead of trying to be kissing Margaret's ass, she should be more concerned on if she really wants to be like a main one, just go and be with your sister-in-law. OK, it could be Melissa and Teresa against the world. But this whole thing of like, oh, the mean girls again, the other girls. And it kind of like is not sitting well with a lot of people. And people are really actually getting tired of Melissa, Margaret and Jackie. OK, like I read the comments over and over all the time. They are not really happy with this situation. They are not looking good. And now, especially after Margaret is doing to Jennifer, it really looks kind of bad that you are going to stay there and support this person after everything that she's doing. I don't know. It's like a whole mess that I don't really, really um, quite get. Uh, either Melissa becomes a Switzerland, because, for example, I think that's what Dolores is trying to do. Like, Dolores is very loyal to, to Teresa, but she really tries to stay, like, in the middle, you know, having, like, a very uh, Switzerland opinion about everything. So either she does the same thing or she joins Teresa. But going against against her, I don't think is going to. I don't think is going to do anything. Um, I don't know if everyone says that Teresa is kind of like not the smartest, you know, tool on the box and all of that. But there is some re for some reason she is where she is. You know, for some reason she gets the love of so many people, and that's something that none of the other girls are gonna be able to do anytime soon. That's my opinion. But anyways, let me know what is your opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you in an hour. See ya. Bye.